Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. The GUI, our graphical user interface, is our doorway to the computer, be it OS 3.9 or Windows 10. But does it have to be so bland? Does it have to be a grey slab that we look at? Well, we all know in Windows that we can very quickly set a picture of our choosing as the desktop wallpaper or background. But how about on the Amiga? Well, if you're running OS 3 or above, you can do exactly the same thing. And that's what I'm going to show you today. We're going to go online, we're going to find a picture, download it, and we're going to set it up for use on the Amiga. Okay, the Amiga's standard image file format is an IFF file. And before anyone goes straight to the comments, yes, the Amiga can handle JPEGs and various other file formats as well, but today we are going to create an IFF. So we need some software to do that. And this is the bit of software that I recommend. XNViewMP. It is free. To download and use for private or educational use. I'm using this privately and I am educating you on how to create an IFF. Download whatever distribution is suitable for you and install it and this is the software. Now I did say we were going to jump online and download an image so what will we get? Amiga Boing Ball is what I think of when I think of Amiga So let's have a look for an image. There's a nice high resolution image there. We will download that. Stick it in our Amiga and wallpaper directory. We'll call it Boing. So that is the image we're going to be working with. Right, in XN view then. You just browse to wherever you have your images stored. There's our one there. Now this is a 16 by 9 image. The resolution of this is 1200 by 675. So let's just confirm that is 16 by 9. So 1200 divided by 16 multiplied by 9. 675. But we need to change that to 4x3, which is the native aspect ratio of the Amiga. So 675 divided by 3, multiplied by 4. We need to make the width of this 900. So we can crop the width to 900. Move the crop section over to there. There we are, that's our 4x3 image. But it's not just as simple as that. Now I'm going to make an assumption here in that everyone will be using the high res interlaced screen mode on the Amiga and that is a resolution of 640 by 512. So the next thing we need to do in XN view is change the resolution of this image. So we go to image and we go to resize. We want to turn off the aspect ratio and we're making it 640 by 512. And then lastly, what we need to do is reduce the color depth. At the minute, there is quite a few colors used in this picture. So we're gonna change the color depth and personally, I think the best balance in terms of file size and memory usage on the Amiga is to go with uh, 32 colors. There we are. 
The picture doesn't look that much different. If we were to take it down to say eight colors, you lose quite a bit of detail. You could try 128 or even 256 colors, which the AGA Amigo will support, but it's going to use quite a bit more memory. So for me, 32 colors is the best balance. In fact, let me just redo that. There we are. Right, that's our image created. We now need to save it. And the beauty about this software is that it natively supports the Amiga IFF image format. So we'll call it Boeing. Click save. And there it is. I have no idea why the PC here sees this as Apple Audio Interchange file, but whatever. Right, I'm going to create an ADF with this image on it. We're just going to use ADF Focus for that. And then we will use our GoTech to transfer it across. If anyone's interested in how to do this, check out the video I made last week. Right, here's our pen drive with our Boeing ADF on it. So let's just mount that disk image quickly. F10 to save. Alright, there's it there. We'll use uh, Dopus just to move this across. So my go tag is DF1. We're going to put this on DH2. I have a wee folder in here called Wallpaper. Let's copy this across. This really is a handy way of transferring small files between the PC and the Amiga. Right, that's that done. Right, you know what? We'll move over to the capture device just so you can see what we're doing a bit clearer. Right, that's better. Hopefully you can see clearer now what we're doing. So we're going to go into our OS 3.9 drive or your workbench drive. We want prefs. And before we set our workbench pattern, let's go into screen mode. That's what I was saying earlier. I would made the assumption that everyone is using this high res interlaced screen mode. If you're using one of the other screen modes, then you can just see the resolutions here. And that is the resolution you're going to want to change your image to in XN view. Right. The reason we came in here was because we want to set a color depth. I recommend setting it to a minimum of 64. On the standard installation, it's probably only at four colors. So you're going to want to make that at least 64. Okay, so workbench pattern. This is where we're going to select our image so type here we're going to change that to picture picture name if we click on this icon here we can browse so we'll go volumes files wallpaper and boing the dither quality and color quality i recommend you set the best it doesn't seem to use much more memory setting it to that, so that's what I recommend. And layout, I would uh, set that to scale. So we'll just click test. Right, 
There's our image. Let's click save and have a look at it. Looks pretty good. Let's tidy up our icons a bit. That's better. Let's take a snapshot of that. And there we have it, one image on our Amiga Workbench background. Does not look a lot better than a plain boring grey screen. Well hopefully you found this wee video helpful. Hopefully you can get some colour into your Amiga Workbench. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show you this quickly. Um, during the meat of the video, we were using this. That's our main Amiga 1200 there. It has the ACA accelerator in it with 128 meg of fast RAM. This though is my Spur 1200. It's completely stock. Has the 3.0 ROMs on it. Just the two megabytes of chip RAM. And it's running uh, OS 3. So you can see at the minute, on the standard setup, we have about 1.7 megabytes of chip RAM free. So if we're going to workbench, press, on our screen mode first of all. Same as last time, we're going to increase our color depth to 64. We're running the PAL high res list. Same as last time. You can see immediately there, just changing to 64 colors, our graphics memory drops to about 1.4 megabytes. So if we go into Workbench Pattern, I have copied our Boeing IFF over to the drive on this. It's in Work, or the Images, Boeing IFF. It takes a minute to load on the standard Amiga. There we are. Beautiful picture. But you can see our graphics memory has dropped to just below 1.2 megabytes. And on a stock machine, with that little RAM then, you may have some issues running a few games. We can put the color depth down. It's at 4 standard. That is going to look absolutely horrible. As you can see. But it does get us up to about 1.4 megabytes of chip memory. So, I'll leave it up to you to decide. Personally, I would suggest if you're just running a vanilla 1200 to uh, maybe just stick with your boring grey background. But for anyone with memory expansion or one of the accelerators, it does look pretty good when you get a nice image onto your workbench background. Mm -hmm.